In today's video, we're gonna go over some interesting new Blender add-ons and updates. In fact, some of the most interesting in a while. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. You have add-ons for modeling, hair, traffic, animation, and more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with True Sky by TrueVFX. It basically gives Blender a realistic and planetary scale sky in addition to atmosphere. So it simulates an actual Earth atmosphere at a true scale, which is physically accurate. You can literally go from the street level to the orbit height in one scene. And lighting, clouds, and fog all behave naturally. The latest True Sky 3.0, which is the highlight of this release, introduces proper atmosphere scattering and even includes celestial bodies such as the sun, moon, planets, etc. And phenomena like auroras. This is a great add-on, I would say, for those who want serious lighting and truly accurate skies in important projects. Or if you generally speaking want your projects to be cool. I mean, instead of using HDRIs, you've got this add-on that covers everything in one place. Also, it's gonna save you a lot of time. Another interesting add-on that recently came out is called Loft Curves, which makes modeling with curves so smooth, if you know what I mean. Well, it lets you create a surface by lofting between two or more profile curves. Imagine drawing a couple of curves outlines and having a 3D shape form between them. Basically, this is it for a nutshell, but it has a lot of features. Under the hood, it wraps a geometry node setup in a modifier, so it can tweak your guide curves or profiles at any time and see the mesh update in real time. You can even use additional guide curves or a sweep curve to control the shape. Once your lofted surface looks right, it is a regular blend object, meaning you can add other modifiers like solidify or subdivide on top of that. This is great if you are a designer or maybe a concept artist, or if you want to model something that has lots of smooth and curved surfaces, that is, using curves as opposed to polygonal modeling. Next, we have an animal that has a crazy price to value ratio called Global Hair, which is like a giant library of hairstyle presets which you can use with Blender characters. It comes with around 180 ready-to-use hairstyles which are fully editable through geometry nodes. The idea is that you can quickly add hair to any character. You can pick a preset and you can choose from male, female, beards, etc. and then customize it as needed and you can adjust the length, style or bangs without building hair strand by strand. It basically provides a base sculpt and uses a mask and guide system so we can control exactly where hair grows on your character. Essentially, instead of spending hours grooming hair from scratch, which is gonna take a lot of your precious time, this add-on gives you a good looking hair in just seconds, maybe minutes if you wanna modify it, and at the end, you will have great looking characters, and this is especially important if you have lots of characters to work on. In that case, I think this is a no-brainer. The next add-on is called Blender MoGraph Toolbox, which from what I can see, gives you a whole suite of MoGraph style features. Things like advanced array cloners, effectors, fields with falloffs, text animation tools, and preset motion patterns. With it, you can distribute objects in grids, circles, along curves, etc., and then animate them collectively using effectors. For example, a random effector to offset position and rotation, or a step effector for sequential movement. So with this add-on, you don't have to dive into geometry nodes or complicated animations. You can just use its UI to create complex animations, and you can do things easily such as logo animation, intro graphics, or abstract motion graphics, which as you know is gonna be tedious to set up manually. You also have interesting tools such as the wiggler for adding noise-based jiggle and a connector to draw lines between objects, in addition to many other things. Next, I'm going to tell you about the Farms and Husbandry pack, who drops about 24 different farm animals, from roosters, turkeys, to pigs, ghosts, cows, and even horses. And the interesting thing is that they are rigged up with idle, walk, and run animations. And what makes it really fun is the built-in Fauna Master Pro with its simulation system, which we talked about in a previous video. Well, your chickens and cows will actually wander around and behave in a realistic manner avoiding bumping into each other and moving in herds or on their own, just like real animals. And I think this is useful as an environment artist populating a cozy countryside scene 
or maybe you are generally working on a barnyard full of life and animals and so on. From the same developer, the Savannah Animals Pack comes with 23 unique African wildlife models. You know, animals like zebras, gazelles, antelopes, tower and giraffes, hyenas, rhinos, and more. And similar to the farm pack, this animal uses the Fauna Master Pro system to breathe life into these animals. I mean, they will wander across the plains with natural behaviors, like grazing, wandering, avoiding collisions, and following paths or herd leaders, and even subtle idle movements that make the whole environment feel alive. And each creature is already rigged and animated, just like the other packs, with variations randomized, so that you don't get that creepy synchronized movement, which makes it look unbelievable. And these assets are optimized for medium distance shots without super heavy geometry or fur, which is gonna be very heavy on your machine. As you can imagine, this pack is awesome for environment artists, or if you want to build savanna environments or jungle scenes with ease, without needing to spend a lot of time and effort on making and animating these animals. Now, talking about updates, this time with machine tools, which is a popular toolkit for modeling, which has lots of helpers and pie menus, you know. And this new 1.13.5 update, make sure it is fully compatible with the latest Blender version. If you don't know, this add-on is essentially a collection of dozens of small tools and custom menus, which are gonna help you with modeling. Things like smart vertices, edges, and faces tools, for quick editing, aligning, and cleanup operations, in addition to various context-sensitive pie menus. And in the latest update, we have seen a big addition, which is a smart pie menu in the edit mode, that intelligently bundles vertices, edge, and face options into one menu for quick access. So you will get all those improvements and snappier performance, which let you keep the add-on with all its features and tools. Next, I'm going to talk about procedural traffic, which is another add-on that got an update. Well, it automatically simulates traffic in your scene. You will define the roads, and it spawns and animates vehicles following those paths, handling things like lane switching, stopping distances, and even parking. The version 4 update is actually a major update, because it adds motorcycles, bicycles, and rider characters to the traffic system. Previously, it was mostly cars, in addition to trucks and buses, but now, you can have two-wheeler traffic as well, which makes the simulation of traffic, I would say, feel more realistic. The update is still in early access, because the plan is to add more bike models, riders, and perhaps electrical scooters, in addition to other things, but it already expands the variety of vehicles on the road, which is a great thing. And with this add-on, populating a city street, or maybe a highway with moving vehicles, is gonna be really easy. So maybe try it for yourself and see what else it will offer. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.